So, in front of me, I have a loose of the guide ship. And I wanted to talk about a survival fact that I'm surprised Lucid doesn't follow on a decent amount of her ships, actually. And is you really only see it on her big destroyer, cruiser, battleship, whatever you want to call it, the turret spammy one. We're going to get the elephant in the room out of the way first, which is that this is not an aesthetics review video. If it was, I would be screaming into the microphone incredibly loudly because the ship looks absolutely horrendous, even though the nose here does look like some kid had an allergic reaction to 15 bee stings and now cannot see out of his eyes. We're going to leave the nose be, and we're going to talk about the more interesting fact, which I have brought up, which is thrusters. Specifically, small thruster spam and why it's better to use large thrusters. And one of the things Lusa does is that she always criticizes people when they don't have enough hydrogen capacity. And I kind of get that, like, if you're, you're in survival, you're flying around. Thing is, these large hydrogen thrusters are far superior to small hydrogen thrusters. In fact, the majority of large thrusters are far superior to their small counterparts. But hydrogen thrusters is a pretty big one. So the first thing is fuel efficiency. If we bring up stuff from the Space Engineers wiki, we can see that hydrogen thrusters are a lot more fuel efficient per thrust than small hydrogen thrusters at about 30% or so. So in this way, you're, if you use large hydrogen thrusters like this for your up thrust, you would get about 30% more fuel lifetime which is amazing. Second thing is that they've got about eh, like 25 or 30 percent better thrust to weight ratio. You're going to gain some efficiency off of having these this block over that block, but you also gain efficiency over these just having a better thrust to weight ratio, which makes your ship lighter per thrust, slightly lighter for the thrust it's producing. And that means that that hydrogen is going to go even farther in terms of how much it's influencing your ship. As you can see, this looks hideous, and the rest of the ship is also hideous. But you've already increased the amount of flight lifetime you've got on planets because you've got these large hydrogen thrusters here and their fuel efficiency, since they're providing the majority of the upthrust here, makes up for the added weight that they give. On top of that, each large hydrogen thruster is about seven small hydrogen thrusters in terms of actual thrust, which means that it's a lot easier to just place these down instead of having to, like, find a place and, like, put a thruster here and put a thruster here, here, here. If you count, you've got 17 of these, and then this makes up, like, the other half of your up thrust. It's a lot easier to just go here, remove these two, and now have a ton more up thrust just by removing two blocks. So this is one of the things, like, I don't really challenge survival players on survival things since they're usually pretty good to get about getting their survival facts down. After all, that's their that's what they do. It's it's their main thing. But in this case, uh the biggest survival brain dead brick of them all has made a survival mistake. So I'm here saying, these big boys are better, use these, it will improve your ship's flight time in here greatly, and just make it overall better. Yeah, that's about it.